My name is Katie Walker. Hello, my name is Richard Hicks. My name is Matt Ronan. My name is Susie. Oh, Emily. My name is Diane. And I donated a kidney to my cousin. And I donated my kidney to my brother, Carl. I donated a kidney to a stranger. I had the honor of donating my kidney to my daughter, Monica. She was three years old at the time. I was motivated to donate a kidney to my brother because of, one, what he was going through, and two, that my brother needed a hero. It was really powerful. It was a powerful moment to see somebody go from so sick to looking so much better in such a short period of time. It was gorgeous, can't describe it. She just, like, and her color was back. And she looked so good. The best moment after my surgery was on a Saturday. My brother came downstairs. I was eating breakfast and kind of doing my thing. And he said, bro, guess what? And I said, what? And he said, I don't have to go to dialysis. I would just encourage you to um, remember that a very short interruption in in your life, a matter of days or weeks, um, can make the difference in the rest of someone else's life. When I ultimately decided to donate my kidney, uh, I knew that it was more than just donating an organ. Uh, it was actually saving a life. And, uh, you know, a life of somebody that I truly care for and love. So uh, it was you know, no questions asked. I was like, let's do it. <laughs> my life has actually changed tremendously. I feel like when you step up to the plate, when God's calling on you, um, blessings just flow. Everything's been moving in the right direction. I'm extremely thankful for my decision and have no regret. I received a living kidney donation from my mom. After the surgery, I was excited to once again be able to swim and have baths and be able to eat whatever I wanted. But I think the one thing that I was most excited about was just to be around family as long as, as I could and to be able to actually stay awake for all of the things that I had been too tired to do before. It got really scary for me when um, I was denied to donate my kidney to my husband. I knew we had only one choice and that was to start telling people outside our family, telling the world that you or a family member needs an organ is not an easy thing to do. People literally from all corners of the globe enroll at my husband's transplant center to help him. It was restoration in, in humanity with the click of one button. At the age of 36, I was diagnosed with stage 5 kidney failure, and I had to be put on dialysis right away. What I want more than anything is to find someone who will be generous enough to donate a kidney so that I may be able to not live off of a machine, as well as to have a child 